In the early stages of pulmonary arterial hypertension, also known as PAH, symptoms can be nonspecific and not immediately identifiable, often taking years to diagnose. Now, with the ease of access to information and professional associations such as PHA, patients have more resources to find specialists sooner. Patients with PAH typically experience a number of symptoms. The most common symptoms may include tiredness, shortness of breath, swelling in the extremities, chest tightness or chest pain, dizziness, and sometimes even fainting. Let's revisit the ice skater and bodybuilder representing the right and left ventricles to help understand why patients experience these symptoms. In PAH, the overworked right ventricle increases in size due to the demand of the higher pressures from the compromised pulmonary system. The movement of blood, represented as cars, flows from the right side of the heart through the pulmonary system, dropping off carbon dioxide, picking up oxygen, and delivering the newly oxygenated blood to the left side of the heart. Increased resistance in the pulmonary circuit makes it difficult for the cars to pass through the lungs, resulting in a decreased amount of cars supplying the left side of the heart with oxygenated blood. With less blood flowing to the bodybuilder, the heart responds by increasing its activity to sufficiently supply blood to the rest of the body. Because the right ventricle has increased in size, the left ventricle has much less room to function in the limited pericardial space, which is the area that contains and protects the heart. Even though the bodybuilder was able to pick up the pace, the increasingly limited space reduces his ability to push out oxygenated blood into the high-pressure system of the rest of the body. The amount of blood the left ventricle pumps out in one contraction, combined with the heart rate, is the definition of cardiac output. Patients with PAH often present with a reduced cardiac output, which can be directly responsible for the signs and symptoms of this serious condition. Now that we understand cardiac output, let's explore the signs and symptoms in greater detail. Some of the first symptoms patients with PAH experience are feeling tired and short of breath. The body needs oxygen to carry out important functions. With less oxygen, the body will tire more quickly. Tasks that were once considered easy, such as climbing the stairs and walking to the mailbox, may become increasingly more difficult. Another sign a patient may experience is swelling, also known as edema. Fluid may accumulate in the body because the heart cannot efficiently pump blood throughout the circulatory system. Chest pain can be explained by the hypertrophied right ventricle uncharacteristically pressing against the coronary arteries. Another concerning factor of decreased cardiac output is reduced blood flow to the brain. Brain cells need oxygen to properly function. PAH patients may have less oxygen reaching the brain. As a result, they may experience dizziness or fainting, also known as syncope. Once a detailed history is provided to the PAH specialist, which include the signs and symptoms reported by the patient, additional testing will be necessary to accurately diagnose PAH. Friends and family support, along with an involved specialized PAH team, will help the patient throughout this diagnostic journey.